Students, now let us look at one more interesting model for vendor selection. That is the set covering location model. Uh, set covering location model is applicable for the selection of the vendors. Now, if you look at this model, we have a minimizing function, uh, minimize Z, where what you need to minimize is the sum of Y, J's for any value of J, subject to different constraints. Now, the constraint is about the assignment. The first constraint, if you see, is that the sum of Y, J's should be greater than or equal to 1 for all J's. What does it mean? There cannot be, Y cannot be less than 1. Y 1 se niche nahi ho sakta. Ek, ek se kam nahi ho sakta. Vendor. Then J actually belongs to N K. J could be any number. N. Baut sara ek pool hai. Us mein se belong karta hai. Then Y J should belong to 0 1. Yani assignment bhi hai. Y would either be 0 or it would be 1 for different values of J. Kuch vendor select honge. Kuch vendor select nahi honge. So these are the three constraints which you need to define for a set covering model. YJ is defined as before in the simple plot location model and N is the set of vendors. You have a pool of vendors who can supply item K. The objective function thus minimizes the number of vendors employed. So set covering method is what is the number of vendors ko minimize kar rahe. And the first constraint actually ensures that each item will be supplied by at least one vendor. Why jab aapne ye the sum of yj should be greater than or equal to 1 for all values of j. What does it mean? It means there should be at least one vendor for that item. Ek vendor kam as kam jo hai, wo se supply karega. Ek se zyada ho sakte hai, se kam nahi ho sakte hai. Then, and the second constraint actually represents the binary nature of the decision variable. So yj belongs to 0, 1. Yani ya to either, either 0 hoga ya 1 hoga. To assignment type of a problem. Ya to wo vendor select ho ya nahi ho ra. But at least one vendor should be selected. Or isse zyada ho sakte hai for the purchase of item. Ye pehle constraint ne ensure kiya. Second constraint is all about the binary nature of that uh, assignment. Then the model presented above actually assumes that the vendors have no capacity limitation. Set covering model ki ek, uh, uh, the thing is that there is no capacity included. Hum ye assume kar rahe ke the vendors are actually uncapacitated, unki capacity unlimited. Hai. Also, they do not address the quality of the supplied items from the vendors. In this model, there is no variable for quality. So we are not taking it explicitly as the part of the model. The set covering model also assumes that the cost related to purchasing are the same for all the vendors. There is no purchasing cost involved in it. In a simple plant location model, we had the purchasing cost, so which could differ from vendor to vendor. But here, there is no purchasing cost involved in it. Essentially, it's just like the assignment of that vendor. So that is also an limitation for set covering model. So we assume that the purchasing cost for all the vendors are actually same. So in set covering model, you can see that it's a simple model in which you actually look at the assignment of the vendors and you try to minimize the number of vendors while trying to satisfy most of the demand. But at the same time, there are so many limitations in it. There is no purchasing cost or you assume that in this model that the purchasing cost for all the vendors are the same, which in reality might not be the case. We also assume that there is the quality of the vendors are same, uh, which might not be the case. And we also assume that they have like face fixed uh, ordering cost associated with them, which might not be the case as well. So there are limitations to it, which can be modified. So set covering model can be modified and such uh, variables could be added to it. But the basic model is actually essentially the assignment model. Thank you.